Sometimes the right people are in the right place at the right time. And that was really true for a Detroit mother whose home was burning and her child was trapped. And my daughter was crying and crying. So every time I thought about going to get my baby, the smoke would just hit me in the face. Tierra Blue and her daughter were rescued, and today they were reunited with some of the heroes who were there when they needed the most. Megan Woods joins us now live, and Megan, you just got some new video of this rescue. What a remarkable story. Karen, an incredible story. We now have the police body camera video to give us a better idea of what happened at this apartment on Tuesday. Police say they were on the other side of John C. Lodge when they heard faint screams. It led them to this alley that I'm standing in. And today, this is the place that they reunited. Please help. What apartment? What apartment? Help. What apartment? Officer Travis Thompson and Serena DeYoung called for the fire department, then quickly climbed eight flights of stairs. Where, right here? <laughs> and through the clouds of smoke, found Tierra Blue. You need to leave. Come on, let's go. Yeah. Where, is it just you? My baby in the other room. Where? And today. Just to think, I was hanging out of that window, screaming for my life, and you guys heard me. The three are meeting for the first time since the fire. I got a new family with we Detroit the police department. To reflect on what it means to be present. We make it a thing where we roll like ride with the windows down just for that reason. So we can hear and see things around us. So just to think that if our windows were up or if like, yeah, we did have the radio on, if we didn't hear that, you know, it could have been devastating. And at the right place at the right time. My first thought was to go and get my kid, but if I didn't run to that window, I would have missed you guys. While celebrating the good and bad times. Every time I think about it, I break down, see what's wrong, what's wrong, and I can't, I can't, I can't express to her how happy I am just to hear her say what's wrong. The one thing that kind of blew my mind in this whole situation was the community aspect. I mean, the amount of uh, residents that uh, stood up um, there's two residents that actually were the ones that um, broke down the door before I was able to get upstairs. I had grabbed her out of there and also a civilian had come in behind me and he had grabbed the child out of the bassinet. Um, so we all made it out safely. I'm so glad we were there. Yeah, yeah I'm grateful. Officer DeYoung uh, has spent just two months out of the academy, and she says this is exactly why she joined the force. Now, Tierra lost everything in that apartment, as well as her daughter, all of her toys and clothes and things like that. So if you want to help out, we'll have a link on clickondetroit.com, as well as that interview with the stranger who lives in this apartment who stepped in to help out. Reporting live in Detroit, I'm Megan Woods, Local 4. Wow, what a rescue story. And sure hope some folks are going to help out Tiara and her daughter with those donations. We appreciate it. Thank you, Megan.